Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Um, I'm going to make a quick video to talk about the Digitac and Total Recall and Bitwig, like using those three things together. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is that I have um, a VST loaded. So I have the uh, Digitac VST set up. And when I'm talking about Total Recall, there's a feature called Total Recall that you can use with Overbridge that allows you to synchronize all of the settings for the whole project uh, and save it into your DAW, which is awesome. So I've got it set up and then I have this option of sync automatically on save. That means when the DAW saves to go ahead and take the settings and also you know, save those into the file. So uh, with that out of the way, let's. I'm gonna play something on the Digitac just to show you that it's got a project loaded that I was just working on. And then I'll switch to something that's completely different so, and show you that you can load those up. Um, one quick advanced thing that I'll show is I'm going to go in and show you that the audio routing uh, for this track is I have audio routing turned off uh, for main on this hi-hat that's way up here. Um, and just remember that I'll show it to you a bit later. All right, so here, let's listen to this project. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, and so now let's switch projects. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna initialize the audio engine. This takes about 15 seconds uh, on the Bitwig side. Uh, once it's done, um, then you'll see it's actually pretty fast. So that comes over here. I get this prompt to say, bring in the plugin state from the DAW or to use the device state, which is what's stored on the Digitac. Um, or just to cancel, I wanna bring it in. You're gonna see the mutes change here. Okay, so now I have a totally different project. That means all the patterns, all the banks, and all of the MIDI settings, and all of the audio routing, which you can see here, the audio routing in the track seven is um, turned on to go to main. So now let's just check this out and make sure it's a totally different project. Okay, different tempo, you can hear that right away. Okay. Okay, it's just some something weird that I just threw together, but just trying to show that it's something completely different than the other one. Now, as awesome as this feature is and how much I love this because I have it, like I said, in my template file for Bitwig. So when I create a new file, um, it just uses it. Now the thing is in Bitwig there is a limitation that you have to know about if you use this. When you make a change, so if I go in here and go to a track and change the pitch or something like that, like let me let me just use uh, Control All for a second and uh, go to the source. Let's just tune it down. Okay, let's say let's say we wanted to keep that and we wanted that to be the default state for the file, or you wanted a couple mutes to be off like that. All right, so then you wanted to save that. Well, if you hit save right now, it won't save that in the file. Um, what you have to do in Bitwig, and on other DAWs, I've not had to do this, but in Bitwig, you have to open up the GUI at least once in that session. Once you open up the VST, you know, for um, Digitac, then it's synchronized. And um, that's just something to keep in mind, you know, if you use this. Um, I've gotten into the habit of doing that right before our save, so it's been working, but... I really, really wish that um, Bitwig would fix that limitation so that the VST and Total Recall always just stay in sync because that would be that would be preferable. Um, anyway, that's the quick video. And uh, thanks a lot. If you have uh, questions about how that's set up, um, all I did, like I said, again, is make a track, load up the uh, VST for the Digitac, uh, which is part of Overbridge. If you don't know what Overbridge is, that's the way that you set up electron boxes to synchronize with your DAW. Basically, that's what it does. And that's also the way that you get audio from um, the uh, multi-track audio from the Digitac or from any electron boxes into your DAW. Um, and when you set up this VST, again, part of Overbridge, you just put that in your template. So in Bitwig, when you create a new file, you can set up what template file you want to use. And so every time I create a new file, I have this template set up that has all the settings I want. And that's the cool part 
to remember is that it's all the project settings. So if I find a little tweak I want to make for my MIDI configuration, I fix it, save it into the template, and I'm done. And then next time when I open up a new session, everything is set how I want it. So after you do that and get into that loop, you can really get it dialed in. So that's all I have for this video, and thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Bye.